so I attempted to dye the ends of my hair pink with the Primark um, pink hair dye stuff. Didn't turn out very good. It was just like this sort of muted pink colour. So I went to Boots and I bought this one instead. I've used stuff from Bleach London before. Bleach London is like a fancy hair salon in London, obviously. Um, I don't know if they have other salons throughout the UK, but I just know there's like quite a fancy one in London. And then they bought out like their own range of hair products, uh, colorants mainly. And uh, I think they do makeup. I've seen makeup in Superdrug. I've not tried anything, but I do tend to use their purple shampoo. Um, it's like one of the best ones I've used for like lifting out any of the yellow in in your blonde, in your bleached hair. Super cool colour apparently. Uh, Semi permanent hair colour cream and fades out in two to ten washes. So it'll probably be out of my hair in about four washes. I would have thought. Uh, non permanent hair colour fades out over time depending on hair porosity. For best results, use on pre-lightened hair, we recommend you do a strand test before use. I didn't do one on my Primark one, I haven't got time to do one now. Um, I'm just going to whack this on, like the whole bottle I think. It's only a small bottle, £6 this was, 150 mils. It doesn't say how much to use, it doesn't really give you much instructions. Oh, directions. Wearing gloves apply generously to shampoo, towel dried hair, massage or comb through mid lengths and ends before leaving to develop for 30 minutes. Rinse out and style as desired. For best results, apply on very light blonde hair, bleached hair. Colour may vary depending on existing tone and porosity of hair. Well, I've already got this pink stuff on there, but as you can see, there's still loads of the bleach in. I don't think the pink will really make that much of a difference. Um, I'm not going to bother obviously putting it on the brown at the top. Um, I'll leave that. I'm just going to put it all on the ends and see how this turns out. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to put my gloves on obviously. Look at that. Oh my god it looks... It smells just um, like their other shampoos actually. Um, it looks like tomato sauce. It's like I'm going to put ketchup on my hair. Look, doesn't it look like like if you open up a tomato sauce bottle? <laughs> I'll put some gloves on, we'll have a look at it. By the way, I've just wetted all my hair, washed and wetted my hair. I'll just go ahead and do it like we did with the Primark one. There it is. Oh god. It's like a paste. Like a really thick paste. Oh my god. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I hope this washes out. As much as I like fun colours like this, I don't think I'd have them permanently. I don't think I'm allowed to have them permanently. For work purposes. Although I don't see why not, because I know um, there's a lot of... I mean, I don't personally have any tattoos like on my body where you can see. Like on my arms and stuff, but I know there are a lot of people that do. I'm going to make a mess of this one. This one is a lot more messy than the Primark one. This, I hope this isn't going to turn out red. The only good thing about it is that it's quite a thick paste which stops it from dripping but look the way the colours go in, it's a lot more colourful, isn't it, than what the Primark one was.
So I'm going to get these gloves off. Look, I'm at literally wear my t-shirt. <laughs> I don't wear um wear like a fully covered t-shirt. Wasn't this worried about the Primark one? But then again, I think I'm like overthinking. Ugh, worried about it all coming off. This reminds me about when I did that. Um, I don't know if you watched. I've got a vlog somewhere. Um, but when me and my sister did this fun run last September and it was called the Rainbow Dash Bubble Bash and you had to run around this race course um, and they fired like powdered colour at you and oh my god my, we were like covered in this green paint and um, I'll put a picture somewhere here and that took ages to wash off literally that was like dyed into my skin everywhere um, I think my car seats still have this like green tinge to them um, and the green was just everywhere. I actually threw away the, the things that even my trainers that I ran in that day because I just couldn't deal with it. But um, that was the worst dying experience I've ever had. And I just hope this isn't going to be because I'm going to have to walk around with pink here tomorrow. If. So this happened. I'm not sure what I think about it. It's a lot more pinker than it was before. Um, it's not the pink that I wanted. The pink that I wanted is something like this. Put something there to show you. Look, my hands are a bit pink even though I use gloves. Um, the colour is quite impressive considering it's a wash in, wash out one. It's a lot more messier than the Primark one I used before. Um, as you can, I got lots of stains which I showed you before all over. Um, but to be fair, they have washed out. I think it's all washed off my face and my ears and neck. But, oh, I don't know. It's okay. As long as this washes out, and I have my normal uh, blonde hair underneath there, I'll be happy. But I've got this feeling it's going to stain it into like a funny pink colour. But never mind. I suppose it looks okay. <laughs> I suppose it looks okay if you like pink hair. I'm just not sure if I like pink hair. On me, anyway. I like it on other people, but not on me. Um, it looks a bit red, doesn't it? I don't know how it looks. But, um, so this was the £6. Here it is. Um, this one. Reach London, the big pink. And it certainly is a big pink, isn't it? Anyway, thanks so much for watching my video and I will see you again for another one soon. Hopefully with my normal hair colour, but who knows. Bye!